Let me ask you a question. What kind of camera strap do you use with your camera? Do you go with the default camera strap that comes in the box or do you go out and buy a customized camera strap? Let me know in the comments. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I don't use these default camera straps and the four options that I use instead. So first of all, if you use the default camera strap that comes with your camera, there's nothing wrong with that. I definitely did that for my first camera. The first camera that I used was a Nikon DSLR, and this is the original strap. Uh, this is not real blood, by the way. This is from a band called Guar. If you ever get a chance to see or photograph this band, definitely do it and wear all white and be in the front row if you can. But anyway, these straps, you know, are pretty good actually. They're pretty sturdy and they will definitely get the job done if you're just looking for a basic strap to get you started. However, if you're not a big fan of the color black, I don't know why these camera straps always come out default black and you wanna mix it up, you can definitely go online to Google, Amazon, Etsy, get all kinds of different straps, with different colors and different fabrics. This was Martin's longtime strap that he used with his Fujifilm X100S and you know has a little travel theme, really stood out in all of our photo shoots that we did with it. But the main reason why I stopped using the default camera strap or basic neck straps like this is that they're not super comfortable or ergonomic. And especially if you use a bigger camera such as you know the Canon 5D Mark III that I was using for you know almost seven years or even a full frame Sony camera, you know, those cameras get really big and heavy. And these neck straps, you know, that's primarily how people use these default straps, those are on your neck. When you've got a super heavy camera on it, that really wears on your neck and it's not very comfortable. That's why I use these other straps that I'm gonna to introduce to you. So the very first strap I have here is a Black Rapid strap. Black Rapid's a company based here in Seattle and they're the first alternative camera strap that I turned to, mostly because a lot of my photographer colleagues were using these straps and eventually I was like, hey, what's the benefit of using these straps? And they said, you know, that default neck strap isn't really comfortable and it really wears on your neck. So if you go with a strap like this Black Rapid, you can see from the get-go, that this part is super thick and padded, still very lightweight, but this part goes over your shoulder and then the strap kind of sits over on the side, so your camera is over on the opposite side of your shoulder. And so this way, the weight of your camera is just equally distributed and you don't have a lot of strain coming from one side of your body. I mean, eventually maybe your shoulder gets slightly fatigued, but it's nowhere near the pain that that default neck strap gives you over time. So this strap attaches to your camera via the quarter inch tripod screw on the bottom of your camera. So when you're actually holding it with the strap, your camera does hang upside down. And you might be a little worried about that, but honestly, I've been using this strap in particular for over 10 years years with like three different cameras, DSLR and mirrorless cameras, and I've never damaged my camera just by holding it like this. So it's actually okay to hold your camera upside down via the strap. This strap is not cheap, unfortunately. Actually, none of these alternative straps that I mentioned are cheap, but they are super well constructed and they hold up really well over time. The only catch with using a Black Rapid strap is that it's a really good idea to get into the habit of making sure that your camera is secured to your strap. Just go like this, make sure that it's tight. And the main reason is that, you know, over time, these things tend to loosen. So as long as you're diligent and make sure that your camera is is tightly secured, then you'll be totally fine. The next strap I have here is by a company called Peak Design, and they also make camera backpacks. I've owned two of those camera backpacks, and they are super good looking and super well made, so it should come as no surprise that their camera straps are also really nice looking and really solid. This model is the Peak Design Slide Lite. It's a slightly thinner version than the original Peak Design Slide. And I like the Slide Lite just because I have a smaller frame. Maybe men prefer the Slide, but the Slide Lite is better for women or people that like a slightly thinner strap. So this is what the strap looks like when it's unboxed. This is the same material that's found in the seat belts of cars. So it's really nice and thick without being too thick and super strong. Like I don't think there's any way it's even hard to cut through this. This clip right here helps you adjust the length. So you just pull it up and then you can pull it to make it longer or pull it this way to make it shorter depending on what length you prefer. 
And this strap attaches to your camera via these little anchors here. So there's two different alternatives here. This anchor goes onto the side of your camera where you would normally attach the default camera strap, or there's another version that lets you attach it to the quarter inch tripod plate on the bottom of your camera, similar to how you would hold a black rapid strap. But unlike the black rapid strap that only requires one anchor point, for the Peak Design strap, you have to have two anchor points for both sides of the straps. So you can attach them again to either each side of your camera or one on one side and one on the bottom of the tripod plate. After you attach the anchors, all you do is slide in this part to the ends of the camera strap. And there you have it. Here is how my camera attaches to the Peak Design slide light. Now at first glance, you might think that these anchor points are pretty weak and that they're not enough to hold your camera. I definitely had my doubts the first time I used this strap, but I've been using these anchor points for over a year now and they still look really good. There's no sign of decay or distress. So I think that this is gonna hold up really well over time. So to me, the Peak Design strap is a better and improved version of that default neck strap that comes with every camera. It's made of thicker and better material, looks a lot better, and holds up really well over time. And this is actually one of the biggest selling points of this strap are these anchor points because if you ever want to take the strap off, such as when you're using the camera on a tripod or a gimbal, or just for whatever reason you don't want the strap, it's so easy to take it off. All you do is press into the anchor point and pull the straps. So within just a few seconds, your camera can be free of the strap, and that's definitely way faster than the amount of time it takes to attach and reattach those default camera straps. Another alternative to the Peak Design Slide Lite is the Peak Design Cuff. So this is a wrist strap and it operates in pretty much the same way. It's also made of the same seatbelt strap material and even has, I think this might be some leather here. So it's a really nicely made wrist strap. It also works in the same way of using the anchor point to attach to your camera. So you just attach it really quickly like that and now you have a wrist strap. Now I was never really a wrist strap person. I always preferred shoulder straps because I just like where my camera sits and I don't always want to have to hold the camera because a wrist strap, you know, is just like a tether. It's some security, but you don't necessarily want to rock, walk around with your camera just like dangling from your wrist like this. So you could do that, I suppose, if you really wanted to. So the main reason why I started using a wrist strap in particular was because I got a free one because I'm part of the Sony Pro Support program. And and it actually took me almost a year to try this wrist strap out. But when I started using it, I started realizing that, hey, this is actually pretty nice. It's really lightweight and I do actually like shooting like this. So besides travel photography and run and gun shooting, I also like this wrist strap when I use it in conjunction with my cotton carrier system. So when I'm out hiking and I want a hands-free solution, that cotton carrier strap is really good for keeping your camera at shoulder length. So we just saw the fox and luckily I had my camera right here thanks to this cotton carrier strap. So all it was was right here. So I'm kind of walking and we see a fox. Oh, it's back. I'll demonstrate it right now how it works. It wants to go that way for some reason. So, as I was saying, <laughs> sometimes you see a fox and you're like, oh shoot, you know, if your camera's in your bag, you have to, let me open this up, let me pull my camera out, let me get my settings right. But no, I had it right here so that when the fox came twice, I was able to just be like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to start shooting. But it is a little nerve wracking to just rely on that cotton carrier strap and not have a tether. So I really like using this wrist strap as a tether. All I do is carabine this wrist portion to my chest strap or the side of my backpack so that if this camera ever falls out of my cotton carrier strap, then the Peak Design strap will make sure that it doesn't fall to the ground. And now back to Black Rapid. This is the Black Rapid double strap, and I use this whenever I need to shoot with two camera bodies. This mainly happens during concerts or events when things happen really fast and I don't have time to change my lens. So I always like to have a wide angle lens or a mid range lens on one camera body and then have another camera body that has a telephoto zoom lens on it. 
Whenever I'm in that situation, I always go to my Black Rapid double strap. So this strap is essentially two Black Rapid straps that are combined and it is the best of both worlds because now your weight is distributed across two shoulders. I was really stubborn for a long time or just cheap I guess and just didn't want to spend the money to buy this strap. So I actually had two separate Black Rapid straps that I tried to use at the same time to hold my cameras but I actually think that made my shoulder pain worse because it concentrated the weight towards the middle of my shoulders. And so it's not really a great idea to use two separate Black Rapid straps. If you have two cameras then definitely go with this double strap because the way that they engineered it is just perfect. I mean the weight even with two really different lenses it feels like they weigh the same and you can barely tell that you're carrying two cameras when you're using a strap like this. And in fact a lot of other strap brands including Peak Design to my knowledge don't even make a double strap. So if you're looking for a double strap to carry two cameras you're pretty limited to Black Rapid and maybe a couple of other options out there. Another double strap option might not look like camera straps. I remember the first time my friend, I think she stayed over in my spare bedroom, which also doubles as my camera closet, and she saw this hanging in the closet and she was like, what is that for? So yeah, this, these don't really look like camera straps, but they are. This is a really similar design to the Black Rapid strap but it's a little bit fancier. This is a leather camera strap made by a small company called Holdfast and ooh, it just feels really nice. I mean it makes a lot more noise I think because of all of these metal anchor points they you know rattle a lot more but this just feels really good and more importantly it looks really good because it's leather. So this double strap is really popular among wedding photographers, corporate photographers, people that want their camera straps to not look like camera straps. With that said I actually I actually think that the Black Rapid double strap, because it's all black, it actually looks pretty professional. And so, you know, a lot of times when I'm shooting corporate events, we have to be wearing all black anyway. So that Black Rapid double strap generally blends in and it can look totally professional. But if you want a alternate camera strap that isn't black, because every camera strap seems to be black for some reason, then these whole steady leather straps are definitely a good option. There are two anchor points. So there's one that goes on the bottom of your camera, the quarter inch tripod screw, and then there's another clip here that goes onto the side of your camera just as an extra safety tether. So this strap is again a little bit noisier because of all these metal things here and also a little bit more expensive because it is all leather, but because it's all leather it will hold up really well over time and even look really good the more it ages and the more that you use it. Alright, so those are four actually five camera strap alternatives to your default camera strap. The main reason to get an alternate camera strap is again for ergonomics or just because you want it to look better than the standard camera strap that everybody gets with their camera. So let me know in the comments about which camera strap you use, which ones you prefer. I know that there's a lot of other camera straps out there but these are just the ones that I know about and that I use regularly so I can definitely recommend them to you if you're looking for an alternative. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.